Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. And as always, I thank you all for tuning in with me and giving me some of your valuable and precious time. And as always, I pray that this brief message is received in the spirit that I'm striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always, in the spirit and in the name of God. Today, I just want to briefly talk to you and I about let's believe, listen, let's believe in being the gods that we are created to be. Listen to me, man. Here we are in 2018. We have all of these uh, um, advancements, uh, uh, modern technology. We have all of these archaeological archaeology digs. We have all of these books in, 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 in history. And it all boils down to us being God. That's the root common denominator that we can go to is that you and I are God, created in the image of the Most High God. And if you and I don't get to that point in our life where we can accept, where we can accept the fact that you are God, and then we go and we be the God that we are, then we will not be living. Listen to me, fam, because that's our nature. So when you and I don't get in touch with our nature, when we don't get in touch with our true self, we are missing out on a part of life, a beautiful part, an awesome part, because God, when he created us, he created us in his image and likeness, and he gave us dominion over everything. So if you don't practice being God, then you don't practice having dominion over everything, and then you may forfeit your blessings because whenever you have an idea, your God nature commands everything in existence to submit and to help you bring your idea into reality. But if you don't think, if you don't know who you are, See, because whoever you think you are, that will set an energy level in you. So if you don't know that you are God, your energy level is not turned on the dial of God. So when you go to issue a command, they may not obey. But when you know who you are, when you know that I'm God, and you go to move through the universe, you go to move through the earth, you can issue command, and all will obey, because you are God. That's your nature. As your brother, I just want to make aware to you how awesome it is to be God, because that's who you are. Just like it's awesome for me to be a black man, because the black man is the father of civilization. That means every other race of people came from me. So I can take pride in being a black man and being the father of civilization. But I'm God. You see, I got to go deeper in myself and find the God because it is through finding and accepting the God that I am that I get to draw the power from the creative God outside of me. It lines me in 
and puts me in tune with him. Why? Because he created me and he gave me my nature, which is of himself. So if I don't put myself in accord with my own nature, which is in line with him, then I might not be living my life to the fullest. So the only thing is your brother, that I'm not a preacher, this is not church. But if you are sick, if you are suffering from a disease, an illness, if you find yourself where you are happy, where you are powerless, where you feel that you are failing, then you have to look at who do you really know who you are? Do you really know the amount of power that you have inside of you that all you have to do is say be and you can make it become because you are God. That's not religious. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with no religion. That's the nature that God created you in. Just like if you're a black, he created you in blackness. Just like if you're a woman, he created you in the feminine nature. Just like if you were male, you are created in the masculine nature. Well, you and I, we are created in the nature of God. God is great. And it is from that greatness that he used to create you and I. God is powerful. And it is from that power that he used to create you and I. So when we look at all of these wonderful attributes of God, when we look at all of these wonderful uh, um, abilities of God, you don't have to go too far to find them because you have the same abilities inside of you. All we got to do is go inside of us and get them out. So family, this is just a brief message. I just want us to look, man. Let us start believing and being the gods that we are. And then look how you can usher in your healing. Look how you can usher in your health. And look how you will be able to usher in your power and make manifest and create your heaven for yourself right now. You will be unstoppable because that's your nature. The only thing that can stop you right now is you, your self-doubt, your inability to believe and know who you are, your inability to believe and accept the fact that you are God. See, you got to say it just like our brother James Brown gave us. I'm black and I'm proud. You got to say, I'm God and I'm proud. You have to be able to with, to say it with firm belief. You have to be able to say it and stand on it. I'm God and I'm proud. Just like you can say, I'm black and I'm proud because you are God, <clears throat> you are powerful. You have in you the ability to do whatever you want. You have in you the ability to bring into existence that which no eye has seen and no ear has heard. Woo! You are powerful. If you look at your situation right now, I want to show you how powerful you are. Who put you right where you're at? Listen now, who put you right where you are at? You did. So if there is anything about your life that you want to change, that you want to improve, Guess who is going to make that change? Guess who is going to make that improvement? That's right, you. Because that's your power. 
you are God. Your body is created to do exactly what you tell it to do. You got people walking around right now. You got men walking around right now and they have trained their body to move like a woman, to sound like a woman, to look like a woman. You have men or women right now that have trained their body to sound like a man, to move like a man, to look like a man. See, that's power because your body will do what you tell it to do. So if you are sick, if you need healing, if you got a disease, if you are dying, look how powerful you are. Your body will listen to you. You just have to know how to tell it. See, that's the God that you are. If you don't have control, over anything else, you have control over your body, over your arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You got control over it. You don't believe me? Tell your arm, tell your left arm to go up. See? Tell your left arm to come down. Tell your right arm to go up. See? Tell your right arm to come down. See? Now, it did it because you told it. It didn't move until you told it. So if you need healing, if you are sick, if you are powerless, if you are fearful and you wanna become healthy, you wanna become powerful, you wanna become fearless, you wanna become God, it's already in. All you have to do is say B and it becomes. Man. So, family, I thank you all for tuning in to this brief message. Your brother isn't crazy. This is how God, if you don't believe in being God, you are crazy. That's your nature. That's your nature. So, if you don't accept your own self. That may be why you are sick. If you don't want to believe that you are God, that may be why you have a disease. That may be why there's no solution. That may be why you die. I'm trying to save your life. That's not taken away from God. It's not sacrilegious. It's not shirk. It's not me being a God other than God because we didn't create ourselves. God created us. And when he created us, he described you and I as being in the image and after the likeness of him. So if you don't want to be in the image and after the likeness of God, that may be why you get sick and die. Because as God, you have power. Because God is force in power. See? It is force in power. You have that right now. See, right now, you can close, you don't, you can visualize. See, you can take a piece of paper and you can visualize, you can see this blank piece of paper. And you can visualize writing or drawing something on this piece of paper that nobody has seen. And then you can do it. See, you can make something a reality that doesn't exist except for in your mind. Force and power. You have the force and power to take an unseen thought into you your God body and bring it into a reality. And believe me, you can do the same with healing yourself. You can't tell me that somebody thought of the pyramid 
and then they use their hands to make the pyramids. But you can't think of healing and use your hands to heal yourself. No, 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 no. Listen to me. It's that. See, okay. You have you have that power. You are God. So I thank you all for tuning in to this brief message. I pray that this message was received in the spirit that I was striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and in the spirit and in the name of God. Remember, according to the Holy Quran, when God fashioned us and breathed into us his spirit and we became living and he held us up in front of the angel and he commanded for the angels to submit to the essence of himself that he put in us. They submitted all except the rebellious one. So here you are. Here you are. This is your opportunity to submit to the God that you are. You will either submit or you will be the rebellious one and reject the God that you are. Man, the choice is yours. I'm just your brother. I want for you that which I want for myself, freedom, justice, equality, heaven, unity, power, our own. So I thank you all for tuning in. I leave you as I came in the greeting words of the God, in the greeting words of the champion. Assalamu alaikum, hotel, black power. Power to the people. Peace.